Right. So we are now mega, mega rich on all three characters. As you can see here, we're with Michael. 45.716 million. Now, what we're going to be doing today, though, is we're going to be starting off the Leicester assassination missions, where you can turn your measly 45 million into billions and billions of dollars. So first of all, we're going to be doing the multi-target assassination with Franklin. So for this one, before the mission, we need to invest our money into Debonair, which is actually on the up at the moment, which is not helpful. So we're going to be investing heavily in Debonair. I mean, you want to try and get it as cheap as possible if you can, but at the moment, their shares are sat at 119, which is the highest the shares have ever been. But of course, they are going to fire up even further once we do this. Right, so we're going to buy all those shares. We are then going to switch over to my main man, Trevor, who's hopefully not doing anything dodgy. He's up on the pier. What are you up to, Trev? You ain't a real DJ anyway. Fucking CDs? Come on! Uh, so with Trevor as well, we're going to be investing heavily. Wow, look at the Merriweather sh uh, shares. They are down a lot, aren't they? We've destroyed Merriweather. Uh, with Debonair again, we're going to be investing heavily. Now, we should be seeing about an 80% return on this, which should give us about 70 million back. Something like that. That's what it says, anyway. We'll have to try and play it by ear. It's slightly different every single time, so you've got to be smart with it, I think. So, with Trevor, we're going to invest our 42 million in Debonair. And then we're going to head over to the Frank Man. Who is at home, is he? Is that his home? Yes, he's at home. So Frank Mann is also going to be investing in Debonair as well. So let's open that up. So Franklin, of course, I'm about 41 million at the moment. Uh, we're going to go for... What if the market's being up is actually going to help us out on this one? Because if this is going to go up at 80 odd percent and the shares at the highest price, then the shares are going to be even higher once we finish this. If it's guaranteed to be 80 percent, then we're looking pretty damn good. Now I've seen these shares go up to about um, 185 in the past. Is about the highest I've seen, I think, when I've done this mission in the past. So. Um, be interested to see what does happen with this one. I would suggest that before starting this mission, you do save your game. Because this is a very easy mission to mess up. I've already messed it up a couple of times. Um, so this is me doing it again. Because you want to make sure you get the right amount of money on everyone. So you're going to pop in the car now. Everyone's invested in Debonair. We're going to head over to meet Lester and start this mission off. Hopefully the stock prices aren't going to drop. In the time that we get to see Leicester. I want the uh, share prices to stay high if we can. Uh, Michael is happy. Because we managed to uh, take out all of our enemies in the previous mission of course. Oh. He's also going to be even more happy once he makes a ton of money off of this debonair deal. It's not just Debonair, of course. This is a, a very important mission, this one, because you invest heavily in Debonair. You get a ton of money. And then you're going to end up investing in uh, Redwood afterwards for the rebound. Whoa! Um, yep, okay. That was a bit crazy, wasn't it? Uh, so, yeah, we should be getting a massive, massive rebound with Redwood. I think they drop down so low that you can make between two and 300% profit on the second set of this. So, if we make about, I don't know, if we make about 100, if we make about, um, sorry, 80% on the first one, which is going to give us about 70 odd million each, then about 2 to 300%, we're looking at about, well, mid 200 million per character. We've still got four missions remaining um, to do even more madness in the stock market right let's 
a random event there. We're going to ignore that, though, because we've got more important things to do. I mean, I bet that was a, a Securicor truck we could have robbed and got some more money from. We do have a time limit on this mission, then, as well. We have um, a certain amount of time to assassinate these people. Okay, you know Redwood cigarettes? Sure, the cigarette that built America. They've rigged a jury to throw a class action lawsuit that would cover the treatment costs of thousands of emphysema sufferers. Now, there are four corrupt jurors on Redwood's books. I'll send you the details. Oh, and we only have a few hours to make them disappear. The court case is tomorrow morning. Is that all, dog? Shit, that's quite a favor. And that's quite a house you're living in. Get this done quickly, and I'll try to throw in a sweetener as well. Now, I'd advise picking up some long-range hardware to get this job done. You'll be helping a lot of people with this, Franklin, including anyone who might have a sizable investment in, say, uh, debonair cigarettes. Right, there we go. So now we're going to head out. So the first person is a bodybuilder down by the beach. So it's suggesting you get yourself a sniper rifle, which we already have with Franklin. I can't remember where we got it from. We must have got it off of um, a body in a mission, I anything I can imagine. So we've got nine minutes to assassinate all of these people. Which is doable. Uh, so the first one, yeah, is a bodybuilder down by the beach. I don't think this one's too difficult. I think this is the first one's quite easy. So all four targets must be assassinated in the nine minutes. Should be pretty easy to do, actually. Nine minutes is a lot of time on this game. What's good? Oh! Right, so muscle man down. Lay down. Ain't nothing personal. Boom. Next up, there's a guy in a yacht. Oh, I remember this one. This one's tricky. The one on the yacht because um, well, it's, it's just difficult because it's a, a much further out, and you can only do it with a sniper. If you miss the first shot, you're in trouble because he tries to get out of there. Let's head out. Let's try and get there in one piece as quick as possible as well. So time-wise, we're looking pretty damn good. We're going to use a minute and a half on the first assassination. And we're not far away from the second one already. We might be doing this a record time, this one, you know. I don't know what record time would be, but... And if we had a helicopter, this would be a much easier mission. Or if, you imagine doing this mission like a fighter jet. That'd be easy, wouldn't it? We're here already, actually, by the looks of it. Where is it? After? That's oh, in this car park, I see. Okay. That's this yacht here, then, is it? Okay. Alright, so we've got to make sure we get him first time, or we could be in trouble. Oh, it's a bit tricky because those seas moving the boats. Two down. He's down, okay. Not a bad shot at all. Next one is a window cleaner on the medical tower. Lovely. I try to avoid the police in this mission is very important as well because obviously that can slow you down greatly, getting the police. Or hitting a lamppost, that can also slow you down quite a lot as well. And annoying, like crazy driving taco trucks are annoying as well. Right. And hitting people's dogs. Right. Okay. So we're not even half through the time yet, we've already got two down. We had nine minutes and we're only 30% through actual time. Got two more left to kill. So this should be another... I remember this one, this one's quite easy I think. There's, I think there's a guy up in a, uh, in a lift cleaning windows. When I'm cleaning windows. Got taken... I love Franklin's car, it is really good actually. People are moaning about it and they want to... I've seen the internet because I had a look to see if you could actually replace characters' cars in-game. And people are saying that they're really annoyed they have to always drive Franklin's car. I like Franklin's car. Out of the three, I think it's the best one to drive. It's quick. It's uh, great at handling. He says as he flies out of a junction. Oh, come on. Let me move. Let me move. Slow me down here. So it's this guy here in the lift. What the hell was that? Did that not kill him? How did that not kill him? That got him. Right, last one is 
A biker. Oh, this should be easy then. We just gotta knock him off his bike. As long as we can get there. So we've got four and a half minutes. And he's only just over a mile away. We should get there easily then. Should get there easily. Why are you pulling out like that for? My god, the there's one thing that was, I've never been so frustrated in this game before with the actual um the uh, AI driving. Damn, I ain't got much time left. The way they change lanes just so erratically or like especially like on the, these sort of like two lane roads all of a sudden they'll just swing across and they'll just start going at you. Just something that seems to happen quite a lot. It's, just, it's quite frustrating. We've got four minutes left. Just over four minutes to take this last guy out. This should be easy as anything if I don't miss the corner. Go. I think doing up the cars after the first heist is just... I know it's best to keep as much money as possible to the end, but to be honest, it's just makes the game so much easier for the rest of it. I mean, the bulletproof tyres is just such a massive thing. The turbo to get the extra speed. It just makes the missions much easier, doesn't it? Here we go then. So we are... Still got three minutes left to just assassinate this one guy on his bike. I'm assuming that's him there on the bike. The guy I just missed. Out of the way, man. That was easy enough, wasn't it? You fucking looted! Okay, that out. Boom is down. What the fuck? And we're out there, no police at all. Yeah, interesting, okay. Hey L, it's done, homie. All of them. Very good. I'll be in touch. Done and done. Well, that's the mission complete. How do we do? We got a gold medal. Nice. Speedy killer bonus. And money earned. Lovely. Okay. Right, so let's switch over. Let's actually... Before we do anything, let's buy some more shares with Franklin. I mean, it's only 7k, but it could make a big difference here. Um, are these already... Got up 2.3%. So they've actually gone down a bit since we brought them, which is annoying. But I want to... It's not the percentage you want to keep an eye on. It's the actual value of the shares, which you need to keep an eye on, because that percentage changes. So the current share value is 151, which is actually pretty good, because I think they were one, they 120 something when we brought them. So let's switch over to Michael, because Michael's normally at home. You watch this be the one time Michael's not at home. Yeah, he's at home, isn't he? Is he at home? Yeah, he's at home. Right. So. It was, like I said, before the game, uh, before the mission, it's good to save the game. And uh, what I've done is I've saved it on several files because you want to make sure you get this money in for the best There's possible, um, best possible share price. <laughs> Ugh, the things we do for our health. Drinking grass? Really? Let me in the door. There's a right, so let's lay down. So the share price is at 151. Like I said, I've seen it as high as 185. So we've still got a fair whack to go. So you haven't actually got to save it. You can just lay down and back out and that still will give you the time. Um, let's have a look then at money and services now. 182. Oh, hello. This might be a really high one, this then, you know. Let's lay down again. If we can get this higher, that's going to be great. All right, so this should be higher now. It's whether it's peaked or not is going to be the question. Hopefully it's not going to drop now. 182. It's 181. It's gone down a little bit. Has that peaked then, do you reckon? Oh, it's a risk, isn't it? I'll tell you what we're going to do then. We are going to... Lay down. We're going to save it on one of the files. Because sometimes it does drop before going back up. So we will save this now here. Um, if it's not right, then we can reload the uh, the file, the auto save from completing the mission. Uh, or we might have got more money. Because the, the, um, the markets close, obviously, every now and again. Overnight. 18146. 
does seem to have peaked, doesn't it? We want to take a risk with one more. Let's have one more. Uh, let's actually keep an eye on uh, Redwood as well, because we want to make sure we want to invest in Redwood before that comes back up. So Redwood is currently down by... It's down to... Is that Redwood RWC? Yeah. It's down a lot, Redwood. Has that turned back around yet, though? No, it's still... It's gone down from 37 dollars per share down to nine dollars per share i say we go for one more lay down and see what that does we know we can reload that previous save file for 181 we know we can do that okay if this is no if this is lower than 181 we'll reload it's 180 okay so we know then that we can reload this previous save file now. I mean, it's a little bit scummy doing it this way. Don't get me wrong. But we know we can reload this save file. And we're going to sell Debonair on all three of our characters. And then we're going to invest in Redwood. Because Redwood will rebound. Uh, hopefully Redwood has reached its peak. Or its its lowest peak. What's, what's, the, what's the lowest peak called? It's Depth. I don't know. What's the opposite of peak? Opposite of peak. The opposite of peak is... What's the opposite of non-peak? No, I don't want time. I don't know what it is, actually. <laughs> Depth? Um, bottom, pits, all-time low. All-time low might be the lowest point. Low point. Yeah. There's no specific word, but I think um, lowest point is probably what we're looking at in regard to stock markets. So, we can reload this back up now. So, Redwood was down to about $9 a share, and it can go back up to $37 per share, which is where you get your 300% back. Obviously. Come on, game, load up. Phase up. Guys, takes ages, doesn't it, to load the story mode? I can't wait for PS5 to be nice and quick. The GTA 6. Right, so we are... We should be at 182, was it? Is that right? 18146. Okay, that was right, yeah. So sell that. Sell all. That gives us 69 million back. And then we want to go back into the market. So we want to find. Ah, we did it. It was too slow. Too freaking slow. Redwood's already rebounded. Okay. Okay, this is this is the problem. You've got to do this correctly. You've got to do this correctly. So let's reload the auto save. Okay? So we got that up to 182. We need to sell and then we need to buy redwood while it's cheap. It's a real balancing act this one. A real balance and act, but it's uh, it's worth doing right. So you want to try and get the shares up to about a one eighty. We're not going to go too mad on on getting it dead on. We know it's going to be one eight one at its max. So if it gets to about one eighty, we'll sell it off just to make sure we get the redwood shares in time because the redwood is the big one. Redwood is the most important one because that's where you're going to get a chunk of money from. Three hundred percent increase in your money, so it's definitely worth making sure you get that done right. It looks like if you load a save file, it must load it back up a few hours after. Uh, which is a slight problem for trying to get this stuff balanced out. But at least we know what we're looking for now. We know what we're looking for. Right. So 181. And we need to try and get Redwood at its lowest as well. Which got down to about $9. So $181 per share. And uh, ninety-one uh, $9 per share. It's a big difference, isn't it, between Redwood and Debonair? 
At least the next one should be easier afterwards, hopefully. Hopefully, anyway. Come on, game, hurry up. Oh, okay. At least we know roughly what we're doing now. We know roughly what to look for. So, let's have a look now at the markets on our phone. Because the autosave is obviously going to take it a little bit longer as well. My portfolio. They're at 116. They've, not, they've gone up a little bit, but they've gone down since I brought them. Okay, so they're at 116 at the moment. Let's go downstairs and lay down. And try and get that bad boy up to the high 170s. I mean, there's no need to go too mad on this. I mean, it does make a big difference if you don't get stuff right. But at the same time, you can make a lot of money still. A lot, a lot of money. So you don't have to save. We are going to save over this one because we know this one's a dead one now. So we'll save over this. So we know we're at this point now. We know we're at this point. Okay. So we've got... Where are we now with this then? We should be right up here now. 117. So it has gone up even more. Uh, Redwood is still dropping. Yeah, Redwood's still at $36 per share. It's going to drop down to about $9 per share though. If all goes well. If all goes well, that is. So we'll lay down. Of course, it's night time, so the markets are shut anyway. It's still night time. So the markets are probably still shut, aren't they? Let's have another look. That's the problem when you buy the shares while the company is good. There we go. It's up to 151 now per share. And Redwood is down to 25 per share. Okay, so we're on the right direction. Now let's have another lay down. We want to sell at the high 170s, early 180s. By the looks of it. We don't want to go too long because we need to catch Redwood before it rebounds. How are we sitting now with this then? 180, 72. Okay. Do we want to risk one more or... That's still free for now. I think this got down to $9 last time. We're going to risk one more. This is a risk, isn't it? At least we know we can go back to that save file where everything was still going mad though, can't we? So 180.74 it was. Is it random? Because that seems... I don't know. I don't rightly know. 179. Okay. I reckon we just sell this now then. Redwood's down. Okay. Okay, it's dropped a little bit. But we are going to sell all of our shares. Sell all. 62 million. Then we're going to go back into the markets. And we are going to be buying as many shares as we can in Redwood. That's got down to $9, which it was in the previous time we did it. I mean, it's not quite as high as we had last time. But it's still going to make a massive difference here. We're going to get as many shares as we can in this, which is going to be a lot. Plus, this is going to fire up a lot. I mean, they're currently down to eight ninety-seven per share. If they're going to go back up to about... Well, you see, it can go up to $45 per share. That is a massive amount of money. Huge amount of money. There we go. We brought six million shares. Oh, we went down to minus two there. I didn't think you could do that. Okay, so that's that. And we're going to switch over to Trevor. Do the same thing, sell our shares, and then rebuy some more. And hopefully we're going to do it before the shares start to go back up again. I got a drug habit that would put your problem, celebrity. No, no, one, no one cares, no one cares, Trevor. We just need to sell these shares before they start to go crazy. 179 by 13. So we made $50 per share extra. There we go, 63 million here on Trevor. And then we're going to buy the shares in Redwood at 897 per share. I mean, we might have been able to get lower on Redwood, but I don't want to take the risk. 
I mean, if you really want to min-max it, you can keep track of all the numbers and keep running it through till you hit it dead on perfect, but you don't need to really, to be honest. I mean, I've gone a bit too much into it. I don't need to go as mad into it as I have done, but... So we have just made... What's that? $23 million? About that. If we say we had about $40 million on each payer, we've just made $23 million off of the first one, and now we are... On to Redwood now as well, which we're going to make even more from. So hopefully Michael's not doing anything too iffy. Trevor's the one you got to worry about. He's the one who often gets chased by the police for no apparent reason, isn't he? Michael's not at home for a change, though. It's always the same drama. People just don't get that this is art. Oh, excuse me. Oh, he's in the. Uh, he's in the. Oh, he's in the movie theater. My portfolio. Sell all of those. We're going to make ourselves a nice chunk of money. Up to 68 million on Michael. And then we're going to go, of course, to Redwood, which is still at 897, thankfully. And we're going to buy as many shares as we can in Redwood. So this is going to be good. This is going to give us a lot of money, I think. Lots and lots of money. Of course, Michael's going to be able to buy slightly more shares because he's got 68 million. Whereas the others have... How much did Franklin had 63? Trevor had 65? And now Michael's got 68? See, so Michael's going to end up with the most money, obviously, because he had the most money to start with. Yeah, he can afford like an extra 600,000 shares by the looks of it. How have I got $9 left if the shares are 897 each? How has that worked? Can I buy that one extra share, please? Thank you. There you go. So now we just need to wait it out. So if we go back again across to... What car is that? Is that a posh one? No, it's Michael's car. Okay. So we go back across to Franklin, who's hopefully still at home. So yeah, this one can give us about a 300% return altogether. Let's have a look and see if it's um, started to come back up yet in the time that it's taken us to go through all the characters and do that. No, it's still at 897. Okay. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to save the game over the save file we did a minute ago. Just because we've got to a point now. We've got to a checkpoint. We're happy with the money we've got. We made 179-ish. It's about a dollar less than what we could have done, but it'll do. So we're going to save it there. And let's see if uh, Red would have started to fire back up yet. And hopefully it hasn't gone down and we couldn't get it cheaper. Still at the same. What's Debonair at? 176. So we sold that at the right time. That's dropped even more now. Okay, let's lay down again. Yeah, so we, I mean, we could have got an extra dollar if we'd sold it a bit early, but we wanted to take that risk, see if it went up anymore. Now, it can take about 48 hours for Redwood to fully rebound. How are we looking now? We're back up. Okay, so they are starting to go back up. We've made, what's that, 838,000 profit already on Franklin. Just by going up that extra dollar per share. Nice. Let's lay down again then. It should go back up to roughly what it was, which is about the mid 30s. So there's a huge amount of money to be made off this. Huge amount of money. I think we've done this perfectly timed this time. Let's see what we're at now. Oh, still 909. Okay. Uh, obviously, the markets are shut because it's night time. Let's lay back down. Is it daytime yet? So what I'm going to do. I'm going to double sleep. I'm going to really go risky. I'm going to double sleep this one. Uh, like I say, it can take 48 hours for this one to go through anyway. 
I don't think this is as risky. I don't think with a debonair one, you have to catch it while it's at its peak. This one, it should just go back up to what it originally was. So you've got a bit more time to play around with this one. Um, so it's not up a major amount yet. We've still made a million back off it already. Debonair is... Yeah, coming back down now. It's back down to 154. And Redwood is back up to 922. So it's still made a massive loss, but we're making a profit. We've got a million profit on this already. $1.8 million with uh, Franklin, which is enough to buy the majority of things Franklin could ever want in this game, to be honest. Vehicles and that sort of stuff and businesses. Let's see what we're looking at now, then. It's gone back down to 897 Huh? Huh? I mean, if I'd known that, we could have sold them and brought them back again. <laughs> We could have sold them for that extra 1 million profit and then brought them back again. That would have been great. Because say it can take about a, like I said, about 48 hours for it to spring back up to where it should be. I think every sleep is about 8 hours with Franklin. Ah, okay. Still not bounced back yet then. Right, back up, Franklin, my man. Get back up. I want to see that money rolling in. What a view that is. Hopefully this view is going to be even better, though. No. Okay. Let's try it again. Oh, God, I just punched the uh, microphone. I do apologise if you heard a big bump then. Right. It's night time though. That's got to be about six sleeps now. That's got to be about the right time to to see this money rebound. It's gone down even further. 872 now. Wow. We really should have sold earlier on and rebought again. Maybe we could do that, you know. We could have made like an extra million there. I really didn't think it was going to get even lower. Come on. Still 8.72. Okay. Okie doke. Let's get back out. I mean, if we've gone for a weekend, of course, that will affect it. What is it now? It's Sunday. Maybe that's why it's a weekend. The markets are not running over a weekend. Maybe Monday it's going to get back into it. Yeah, okay. That's what I'm going to say. I'm going to say it's because it's a weekend. Monday morning, bright and early, we're going to have tons in the bank. That's what I'm going for. No, we don't want to create a new save file yet. Is it still Sunday? Uh, it's still... It's Monday morning now, okay. I've just got my money, though, for my businesses with Franklin. Uh, which includes... Oh, I've got nine grand, okay. I'm going to buy another nine grand worth of shares, then. I might as well. That's going to make a... Uh, it's going to get some more money out of it, aren't I? Might as well. Another thousand shares. And turn that nine grand into something nice. All right, let's go back to bed. Come on, stock markets. Don't screw me over like this. Right, it's Monday now. The stock markets are open. People should be buying shares. They're thinking about what happened last week. And they're thinking, yeah, I'm going to invest some money in uh, Redwood cigarettes. Maybe not. Maybe it's gone down even further. What is going on? Give me this rebound. I need this rebound. Give me this stock rebound. And we could have made more money if we waited out, but it's too risky, isn't it? You just don't know, do you? 844. 
Is Debonair back down to where it was now? It's back down to $110 per share. Which is actually lower than what it was before the mission. It was about 120 before the mission. So we did pretty well on that. But Redwood is just taking forever. All right, now how's it looking? Hey, that's better. That is much better. Right, it's up by... It's up to $10 a share now. Right, we're starting to see it now. We're starting to see it. We want it to get back up to over $30 per share, though, before we even do anything with this. So it's taken a while. It's taken quite a few in-game days to get this done. Quite a few in-game days. I mean, we're on to Tuesday again now. Still $10.11 per share. Okay. Let's have another lay down. And get back out. Right, so... $19 per share. There we go. There we freaking go. Look at that. We made 70 million profit so far. 70 million profit. Wow. Let's get back in bed. We can make up to 300% profit on this one. Right. What are we up to now then? It was up to $19 per share. What's it up to now? Woohoohoohoohoohoohoohoohoohoohoohoohoohoohoohoohoohoohoohoohoohoohoohoohoohoohoohoohoohoohoohoohoohoohoohoohoohoohoohoohoohoohoohoohoohoohoohoohooho